you know, that's some awful news from America, wasn't it? When you look to what happened in Baltimore with the ship smacking into the support structure of the bridge and the whole thing came tumbling down. There's a good mile and a half's worth of bridge and, you know, the tragic loss of life that's entailed. Uh, it's really, really shocking. Now, when I looked at the footage of the ship heading towards the bridge, now, I know a little bit about maritime stuff, but not a great deal. I'm no expert. I'm a cab driver at the end of the day, but I know enough to spot a potential problem. When the, when the uh, ship went towards the bridge, you could see all the power go out. All the lights went out, everything and suddenly flipped back on again like a emergency generator kicked in and then they would have tried to steer out of the way and then all the power went off again and then suddenly flickered back into life once again so it was almost like two power failures in a in a funny sort of way and then we know what happened next they couldn't evade what they were heading for crashed into it and the whole bridge come tumbling down resulting in massive massive damage and tragic loss of life and I understand that there's some vehicles uh, which are still down there which they can't safely get at now when uh, you look online and when you look at all of the footage all of the theories and all of the stuff that people are coming out with there's all sorts of uh, all sorts of things that are happening now I saw a, a very informative video and I don't do this enough I want to give a shout out to another youtuber retro on his bikes and he's got his own uh, channel uh, retro is actually a, an engineer uh, a, well I suppose you call him a merchant engineer, marine engineer, whatever. He he works in the engine rooms on uh, the ships. And he's been at sea for, well, 40 years. And he knows an awful lot about generators, engineering on ships, and knows enough about the procedure and what to spot when it goes wrong. And Retro gave a very, very informative video talk about his theory about what went wrong in Baltimore and how that ship ended up in the condition it did and applying his own experience to it and the reasons why and ultimately how it ended up in the position it did and obviously we know what happens next. Retro did really really well on that video, well over a hundred thousand views so I, you know the YouTube algorithm would have pushed that round and uh, you know because they considered it what you call an authority video and it's worth having a look at I leave a link in the description uh, below so you can go and check out that video and you know retro usually does daily vlogs of his life and uh, the odd useful piece of information here there and everywhere that might be uh, you know uh, appealing to people but you know uh, when he talks about his own engineering experience that's where I where I really really take an interest and I implore all you guys to do as well he's been at uh, YouTube for quite a considerable amount of time uh, and he's got about 3,000 and something subscribers now I think and I would love to see him get a few more particularly when he's talking about retiring someday soon and uh, perhaps he'll do a few more YouTube bits and pieces so please if you can go and subscribe to Retro and while you're at it share this video subscribe to my channel like it and I look forward to talking to you again soon toodaloo